Hi, uh, welcome to Sorting for Fun. Uh, what I have here is an alphabet block wagon, has wheels, and we're just going to try to put uh, the blocks in alphabetical order, which means from A to Z. We have this little space here which is perfect for sorting so we can move blocks around like this. Okay, so let's try to look for the first letter which is A. Okay, I don't see it. Mm -hmm. So let's start looking for it. Let me see. Mm, that's an M. Where could I find A? Oh, it's behind the zero. Excellent, this is fun. So this is the letter A. Let's see what else we find. An app. A is for apple. Uh, this is our lowercase a and the number zero and zero and the word apple. Pretty neat. So we'll put them put it up here, number one. So now we look for B. And and as I can see this is a ball and ball starts with B. Fantastic. So let's see what else we find. This is the uppercase B. Ball, like we saw before. Lowercase B. And the number one. We also have, oh, a butterfly. And in the back, it's the word butterfly. Fantastic. And this letter C. Oh, I see the letter C. We didn't even have to do a lot of work. Fantastic. So we have the C. What else do we have? We have the number 2. Lowercase c. The number 2. And a car. For C. Car. And cat. Two cats. Two cats. Fantastic. Let's make room for C. And let's find D, which is the fourth letter of the alphabet. Let's see. I see F. What is this? Mm. We're looking for D. Let's see. Now we have Q. R. Let's see this. Yes, we found D. D, a green D. And on the other side, we have lowercase D. We have the letter, the word duck, D U C K. And here's the duck. But see, notice it's a number three. And over here, I just discovered three dolphins. And dolphins start with the letter D. So fantastic, we have the letter D. E. I think I saw, yes, I saw an elephant, which starts with the letter E. Fantastic. So we have E, and we have lowercase e, and we have a picture of an elephant. And in the back it says elephant. We have the number four. Oh, and look at this. We have four envelopes. Envelopes starts with the letter E. Fantastic. So here we go. E. Let's move this K. Put the E. And after E, we have to find F. F. Where can we find F? Oh, what is that? It's a frog. Let's start with the letter F. Ding, ding, ding. This is uppercase F. And then we have the lowercase F. We have a frog. And if we turn it around, it says 
frog. F O R O G. F R O G, frog. And the number five. Oh, and behind we have five flowers. Oh, very pretty. Fantastic. Ah, oh, that starts with an F. <laughs> okay, now we need G. And I think I see this block, which looks like our glasses. And yes, letter G. And then on the other side we have <coughs> the lowercase g. Fantastic. And on this side we have a pair of gloves, which starts with the letter G. And on the other side we find gloves. If we keep turning we find a six. And then, which means there are six glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. So we have G. Or we can say great. Ah, that starts with a G. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G. O, H. And what are these? I think those are hats, which start with the letter H. Fantastic. H, uppercase H, lowercase H. And then on this side we have a house, which starts with the letter H. And here we have the word house, H-O-U-S-E, house. And if we turn it, we have the number seven. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Which is which marks that seven hats on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hats starts with an H. Fantastic. Now we need an I. Ah, I think I see it. The letter, the letter I. Fantastic. Lowercase I. And if we turn it, we see but that's an iron. Iron, which starts with the letter I. I R O N. Iron. And if we turn it, we find the number eight. I wonder what we'll find on the other side. Eight ice cream cones. Also starts with I. We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ice cream cones. Mmm, tasty. And here's the letter I. So now we need the letter J, and I think I turned it around. Ah, yes. I found the lowercase j. And here is the uppercase j. And if we turn it, we find some jeans, which starts with the letter J. And here it spells jeans. J E A N S. Jeans. We turn it and we see the number 9, which corresponds to 9 jars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 jars. Fantastic. J. Now we need a K. I don't know if I see the K. Do you see the K? Ah, it's right here. I did not see it. Here we go, K. Lowercase K. And we find a picture of a kite. Start with the letter K. K-I-T-E, kite. And on this side we find the number zero. And on the other side another zero. Fantastic, I guess we're starting again with the numbers. Let me make some room for the K. And it should be getting easier because most of the letters are up. So, oh, there's L. Beautiful L. And on the other side I have a lowercase l. And if I flip it, I have a picture of a lion. 
fantastic. And then we turn it around. Oh, and then a leaf. We have lion. L I O N. Lion. So we have the number one, which corresponds to one leaf, which also starts with an L. Let's make some room. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. M. Here we go. M. And lowercase m. And if we look at the picture, we have the moon. M-O-O-N, moon. Keep turning, we have the number two, which corresponds to two mice. Fantastic. Let's make room. M. Let's look for the letter N. Oh, I found it. N. And then we have the lowercase n. And here we have a drawing of a bowl with noodles. Noodle starts with N. Noodle. N O O D L E. Noodle. And then we have the number three, which corresponds to three needles. You use needles to sew. Sew your clothes together with thread. And that's the letter N. So now we need to find O. Oh, I see it. Beautiful yellow O. And we have a lowercase O on the other side. And then we have a picture of an owl. And then we turn it, there it is. Owl. O-W-L. Then we have the number four. Which corresponds to four onions. Also starts with the letter O. Fantastic. Now we have P. I see it right here. P. And this is the lowercase p. And the drawing is of a, a pig. It's pig. P-I-G. Pig. And then we have the number five on one side, which corresponds to five pairs. Also starts with the letter P. Now we have Q, Q, uppercase Q, and a lowercase Q. And this is a picture of a quilt. Quilt, Q U I L T, quilt. Then we have the number six on the other side, which corresponds to six quail. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they're so cute. And that's the letter Q. So now we're looking for the letter R. Here we are. That is a lowercase r. And this is the uppercase r. Oh, and then we find a rose. It's beautiful. A red rose, so the double R. Rose, R O S E. And this is the number seven, which corresponds to seven rakes, which start with the letter R. Now we need the letter S. And here it is, that's the lowercase s. And that's the uppercase S. And on this side we find a drawing of a snake. Starting with the letter S. S-N-A-K-E. Snake. 
we have the letter 8, I mean the number 8, which corresponds to 8 shells, which also starts with the letter S. S. Now we have to find the T. Oh, I found this word. Telephone. T. Telephone starts with the letter T. This is the lowercase t. And this is a drawing of a telephone. Turn it around, we can spell it. T E L E P H O N E. Telephone. Turn in, we find the number 9, which corresponds to 9 trees. Also starting with a letter T. Fantastic. T. Make room for it. Oh, and I see I found the U very close by. U. Here we have the lowercase U. And on the other side we have a unicycle and an umbrella. But we find a unicycle and we have the word on the other side. U N I C Y C L E. Unicycle. It's a bicycle. It's kind of like a bicycle, but it only has one wheel. And on the other side we have the number one, which corresponds to one umbrella. Awesome. Now we need a V. Oh, I don't spot the letter V, but I spot a couple of violins, which start with the letter V. So we have uppercase V and a lowercase v. And then we have a picture of a vegetable. Awesome! And here it is. V-E-G-E-T-A-B-L-E. -E -E. Vegetable. And then we have the number two, which corresponds to two violins, also starting with the letter V. Alright, now we have W. W. And this is lowercase w. And then we turn, we see there's a watch. A watch right there. And we turn it, it spells it. W A T C H. Watch. And on one side it has a plus sign. And on the other side, it has an equal sign. Fantastic. T U V W X. I see a xylophone. So that must be the letter X. There it is. Lowercase x. Looks exactly like the uppercase x, except a little smaller. Now we have a drawing of a xylophone. And here we are, the big word. X Y L O P H O N E. Xylophone. We're almost done. We have the letter Y. And lowercase y. And then we have a picture of a yacht. A yacht is a big boat. Yacht. W A C H T yacht. And on one side we have an equal sign, and on the other side we have a minus sign. Fantastic. And the last letter of the alphabet, the letter Z. Oh, what a fun letter. We turn it, we have the lowercase z. And then we have a picture of a zebra, which is start with a Z and you spell it Z E B R A, zebra. And on this side you have a plus sign, and on this side we have an equal sign. The Z, fantastic! So we're done. Ah, oh, doesn't it feel better to put things in order? So we have the alphabet A B C. D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S 
T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Perfect. Thank you for sorting with me. I'll see you soon.